What's up guys, the Panthers here, and welcome back to another Viva 23 video. Yes, it's Wednesday, it's 6 p.m. And you know what that means. It's team of the weekday. Let's go, man. We're gonna have ourselves a brand new silver stars. Yeah, yeah. And a brand we should have silver beasts as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. EA, hello? Oh, there it is. Did you forget about us? It's Modest. Damn. French striker from the Bundesliga. Man, three star, three star sucks. Medium, low sucks. Six foot two is all right. His physical is a soup. 64. Come on, man. 64 stamina. His pace is okay. Like, not really. His shooting is all right. If he was like, I don't know, a CDM or something. His passing is cracking, like a centre back. His dribbling is relatively good if he was a goalkeeper. I tell you what, though, this man can head a ball. What awful silver stars, man! Silver beast is back. You know the rules. Team, go go and play squad battles. Let's have a look at milestones. Nothing new in milestones. What awful silver stars! Like genuinely, you know. Let's have a look at team of. The very weak. Here we go. We have got Oyarzabal, baby. He's 87 rated. He's obviously uh, awful because he's 3 star, 3 star. He will be discard price within about an hour. We have got Andre Silva. Finally, his uh, ones to watch gets upgraded. You know, this is an awful card. We have got Berardi over on that right hand side. 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. Very poor physicals. Decent dribbling. Decent passing. Decent shooting. Decent pace. Just 10 a penny of this kind of card. 84 Jude Bellingham. He's okay, you know. He's got good stats in the right areas. You know, in passing, he's got it in the three key areas. He's got good stam. Decent pace. He's three star, four star. He probably needs another one or two upgrades to be like, wow, he's pretty cool, but... Yeah, he'll be discard pretty uh, pretty quickly. We've got Shua Many with another uh, with another inform. High high three three six two. Nice physicals, average defending, decent dribbling for a big man. His passing's not bad. Pace is a bit slow nowadays. Uh, start of the game cycle, he was pretty good. We've got Milinkovic Savic, four star five star. Of course, he has a winter wild card that is uh, considerably better. A little bit slow, super heavy, otherwise decent stats. We've got Theo Hernandez. Uh, insane. One of the best left backs in the game. Just got even better. He's the guy you're going to want in your packs this week. Bastoni. Damn. Never have I seen a, a defensive set of Team of the Week players considerably better than the attackers. Uh, Bastoni, decent, really. You know, decent. Um, and then, of course, Marquinhos. Very good. You want him. Medium high work rate. Insane defending. Very good dribbling, brilliant passing for a centre back, very good pace and very good physicals. We've got Lena at right back. Isn't he quite tall? No. 5'9. He's just terrible. Passing and dribbling is awful. Shooting is awful. Pace is bang average. Defending is relatively poor. Physicals all right. I tore in goal. Benitez on the bench. Brown terrible. Oh, what card this is. Hector better in. Hector the goal protects a high low work rates. That's an awful card as well, isn't it? Awful, awful. Chengiz Under. Oh, he's the feature team of the week. Three star, four star. Awful, 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 awful. So unless you get Hernandez or or Marquinhos, basically everyone else is going to be discard priced within about an hour. So yeah, congratulations uh, on that. I know EA can't choose who gets you know who's who's good in. Uh, in real life and that. But what they can do is give them some better bloody boosts, you know? All right, we have got <clears throat> some things. We have got some things. Have we got some icon things? No, we haven't. Have we got any new league SBCs? <laughs> no, we haven't. Have we got anything other than these showdown cards? We've got Luis Muriel, two segments. Matteo Darmian, two segments. Now, that's pretty cool. Medium high work rates on a fullback with five star weak foot. I say fullback. He's basically going to be everyone's new centre back. 
he has got great pace, good physicals and defending, reasonable dribbling and passing. He's not actually that good for an 87 rated card, is he? What does he cost? Oh, that's all right. An 82 with an inform and an 86 with an inform. Are you out of your goddamn mind? This card would be like 15k on the market. And then Luis Muriel. Four star, four star. Good stam. Good strength. Very tidy dribbling. Decent passing for a striker. Very good finishing. Great pace. Player trait. Team player trait. Do love that. Bit of team player. I assume he's the same, right? An 82 with the team of the week and an 86 with the team of the week. I mean, that's more reasonable. That's mad. I mean, Muriel's decent. If he gets upgraded to an 89, happy days, right? If Darmian gets upgraded to an 89, I don't even know if anyone would care. Like, he's not that good. He has got a five-star weak foot, which is really nice. He is an Italian center uh, fullback from Inter, which gives him a lot of good links. We'll have to have a look on Footbin at what they look like after the fact. And then we've got... I think that's it. Jonathan Klaus. Juan Mi. Oh, we have got... No, he was already there. Aubameyang, Vlahovic, and Juan Mi already there. So that is it for today. Let us go and have a look. I agree. I agree, Fudbin. All right, new players. Uh, Modest, we'll have a look at. Muriel, Darmian, Marquinhos, Molinkovic, Savic, Hernandez, Bastoni, Berardi, Chengiz, Andre Silva, we'll have a look at. Modest, this is, he is terrible. Give him a finisher. He's, it says he's a 91 striker, but he has 64 stamina, man. Three star, three star, medium, low work rate. It's just not interested. They have given him. See, here's what I don't understand. They've only given him six stamina, even though they've given him eight physical. What were they thinking? Were they like, do you know what? 58 stam. That's quite mad. Let's only give him six. I don't know. Luis Muriel. See, look, look at that. 11 stamina. Yeah, yeah. I think a hawk on Luis Muriel makes him a very good player. Maybe even the hunter. Oh, yeah. Top pace. Finishing shot have positioning very nice. Passing is decent. Dribbling is very nice. You might want to go with the maestro. I don't know. I think I, I think I would enjoy the pace boost on him. You might want to go with the engine. Probably not. I'd probably go for a hunter, to be fair. Maybe a hawk, but probably a hunter. Um, I don't know how much he's going to come in at. We'll have a look. And then Darmian. This is an interesting one for me. 8 dribbling, 8 defending, 16 physical with 18 stamina. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 passing, 5 shooting, 21 pace. Now that is an upgrade and a half on pace. 5 star, weak foot, 6 foot tall. He is definitely going to be everyone's new defender. With an anchor, he's good. With a shadow, that's very good. As a centre back, that dribbling, that pace, that defending, that stamina aggression, that 5 star weak foot, that 6 foot tall... I mean, this is a good card. If he gets the upgrade as well, he'll be super. He, he is a good card, to be fair. Maybe I was a little harsh when I was first looking at him. Even with an anchor, he, he's pretty decent there. That's not bad at all. We've got Marquinhos. Not as good as his uh, 90. About as good as his 89, which is 500k. Shadow on him. Send it back until team of the season. Happy days. Milinkovic Savage has an 88 winter wild card that's only... 130k, yet considerably better than the inform in every way, shape, and form. Terry Hernandez has the 86. This has one pace, two shooting. Uh, he's only got 52 penalties, even though he's now the penalty taker for AC Milan. One dribbling, two defending, one physical, not including jumping, and one passing, not including free kick accuracy. I mean, he's already done broken. You pop a sentinel or a backbone on him, or a guardian, maybe a guardian. Maybe an anchor. I don't know. He's just a great defender. You know, lots of pace. That's all you need. Bastoni in there. 86 to an 87. Two pace. With dribbling stats there. Defending, shooting, passing all only plus ones. With a shadow, he's decent. 
He is decent. Good pace. Very nice defending. Good physicals. Good passing. Okay dribbling a bit heavy. He'll be discard price in no time at all. Berardi from his 84 to his 86 has been given quite a nice little boost, but three star two, sorry, three star, four star. Chengizunde already 15k and he's the featured team of the week. What a great idea that was from EA. 10 stamina, would you believe, on him? Um, and then last but not least, guys, Andre Silva. And Andre Silva now has the 86 headliners. I mean, he's just not good, is he? He's just He just doesn't work in this game. So, prices, how much are we paying for these players? Damian and Muriel, about 140k each. Generally well received. I think Luis Muriel was very good. After looking at Damian's in-game stats and what chemistiles are put on him and stuff, I actually think he's a very good pickup uh, for 150k. Uh, I do think, even if he doesn't get upgraded, I do think he could be super useful um, anywhere across the back line because of that five-star weak foot, which is real nice. And that is it for the SBCs. That is it for the team of the week. And that is it for the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, raise, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.